Hello everyone, I'm Glasses Geek, and congratulations, you found me! So, if you know anything about me, uh, you know that I've had an extremely interesting life, uh, especially spiritually, and this has now led me to study something called Wicca. So I've decided to take this year and study all things Wiccan and learn all about this new fangled religion. Uh, so come along and I hope you enjoy this. And just to start things off for the second video here, uh, you might wonder what got me into this in the first place. Um, I'm not going to really give very much of a background story. You can watch all my other videos on this channel and basically piece together what caused me to get into this. But... Uh, so, to not go into <laughs> an entire, you know, this is my life sort of story, uh, and just to really cut it short here, basically I was studying all things spiritual and spiritualism, and YouTube actually suggested a video to me called The Witch of Wonderlust. And it was her videos. They really scared me at first. I was terrified of them. I, I really thought, oh no, now I've really done it. I've gone down the black hole. You know, this is so bad. <laughs> and she really scared me at first. And the videos really scared me at first. But as I watched them, I was like, well, this is... This is perfectly fine. This is okay. And And I actually found out that there really isn't anything bad about Wicca and the Wiccan religion. And the more I watched of her videos, the more relaxed I became and the more willing I became to actually research what they, uh, sorry, I'm doing stuff here with the computer as I'm talking to the camera. But the more I looked into her videos, and the more I watched her videos, the more comfortable I became with it all. The more happy I was with learning more about Wicca and witchcraft and all the other taboo subjects and items that I had been warned away from. Oh, I'm blowing out the microphone here. I'll, I'll turn it down. Sorry about that. Uh, but the more comfortable I became with all of the taboo subjects, all of the taboo religions, all of the taboo everything that I've been taught, you know, don't go near that. You don't want to go near that. That's really bad. That's evil. That's darkness. And I ended up finding out that really there's nothing evil about it at all. There's nothing wrong with it at all. And I don't know and understand why anyone would call any of this stuff evil to begin with. Uh, I don't know why anyone would consider it a negative or bad thing to begin with. So, and I hope I didn't turn my microphone down too far. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know why anyone would consider it a negative or a bad thing. I don't know why anyone would consider it you know, Satanism, just point blank Satanism. And I don't know why anyone would consider it, uh, you know, maybe even something dangerous that you shouldn't play with. I can kind of understand the thought of it's, it's just a lie. It's people playing with things that, um, that aren't real. It's basically, you're going off into the imagination I can understand that point of view, but because of my experiences in life, I can't entirely understand that point of view either, but I understand that point of view far better than I understand the point of view of it's real and it's evil. So, yeah, so anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of like a huge tangent. But I'm going to read my little list here, and I hope that you can still hear me loud and clear. I'll turn up my microphone here. So, yeah, so 
the all all of the all of the stuff that I watch now in the line of spiritualism, uh, the majority of it, believe it or not, is uh, is witchcraft stuff and it's uh, Wiccan stuff. And so, just to give you a list to for your own researching and searching, uh, this is what I've been watching and this is what I've been loving. Uh, the Witch of Wonderlust, number one, because I'm I I uh, I'm a fan of hers. I love her. I absolutely love her. She's great. Uh, the second one that I found who I love a lot is My Pagan Life. Um, definitely check out My Pagan Life. Uh, there is, uh, and, and I'll leave links to all of these people uh, below in the description. So there is uh, Harmony Nice. Uh, Harmony Nice, some of her earlier, earlier videos, she looks very scary. <laughs> But she was very young, so that makes sense. So, and she's she's really changed recently. Um, but uh, despite what, despite how she looks, I I love her videos. They're very informative. I I just I love them. Uh, another one that I absolutely love is Hearth Witch. Now Hearth Witch. Uh, there's someone else who calls themselves themselves Hearth Witch, and they put like Hearth Witch one 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 after it. I'm not talking about them. I checked out one of their videos, and I wasn't too impressed. The Hearth Witch that I'm talking about, she's much younger, and every last one of her her podcasts. I mean, because basically she's just a talking head, like I am here. So you can definitely call this a podcast. So there's nothing to see, uh, but. Every last one of her videos is what it actually is, are about an hour long, and I'll put I'll put the link in the description so that you don't get lost. Um, and I just I love Hearth Witch, I love My Pagan Life, I love The Witch of Wonderlust. The Witch of Wonderlust is more entertainment value. My Pagan Life is kind of like walking into like a, I don't know what to call it, like a pub or someplace where it's kind of like walking into a chat room for me at least, for my pagan life and actually enjoying the company of a fellow, you know, person who thinks like this. Uh, Hearth Witch is kind of like going to an encyclopedia and just getting a massive download of information. So I absolutely love these people. Harmony Nice is really interesting visually. Um, she's really interesting. Um, and then the ones that I don't watch too much but I also like um, and... There's one that's really fascinating. They're called Hoodoo Delish, and they never show themselves on camera. The most you'll ever see is like their torso down, and you'll see their arms and their hands, and they're they're quite a skinny person. Let me see, where's the... They're, they're a skinny person. They're actually skinnier than I am. <laughs> so, if the camera can catch my hand. But yeah, they're actually uh, quite a thin person like I am. So, but... Uh, she looks like she might be about the same age too, but there's there's Hoodoo Delish. Uh, that Hoodoo Delish is like an in-depth, uh, intimate, encyclopedic walk. You know, it's like this person really knows what they're doing and they're just giving you the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> so they're quite good. There's Mystic at the Crossroads. Uh, I love her. She's really good. She's very uplifting. She's more of kind of like a spiritualist rather than into the Wiccan and the witchcraft kind of thing. She's more of like a, you know, kind of pick you up, pick up your heart, pick up your soul, you know, kind of make you feel better. She's gotten a little bit into advertising lately, but I really do like her, uh, Mystic at the Crossroads. There's the Green Witch. Uh, she's she's really interesting, and I kind of I kind of identify with her a little bit because I have horrific gut problems that have darn near killed me, and and she's of the same category. She has gut problems herself, so I I really like the Green Witch. Whenever she can put out uh, a video, I like hers a lot. Uh, I haven't seen too many of these, but there's Wisdom from North. Um, I need to check into her more. I'm not sure about her yet at all, but I, I think I, I liked her enough to put her on the list, but I don't remember any of her videos, Wisdom from the North, so, or Wisdom from North. Um, so yeah, there's, so I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it in the line of the, uh, the, 
oh, what is it? Basically the witchcraft and the, uh, the Wiccan stuff and whatnot. And just watching these videos got me into it. And it got me to the point where I was like, you know, I'm sick and tired of people, especially watching my pagan life. I, I finally decided, you know what? Here's a young girl. She's young and she's, she's like a dead stamp of me, especially when I was younger. And she just, and she's actually putting all this stuff out there and she's putting herself out there. And I was like, you know what? If she can do it, I can too especially at this age. And, you know, so I'm going for it. So, so there you go. Uh, and I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera very much. I, I, uh, yeah, I've, I've been taught not to look directly at people and looking at the cameras, like, for me, looking directly at someone's eyes, and I can't take that. So, uh, as, as for others, uh, other spiritual items that I watch and these I was watching just recently, I found someone called sky life. Now this is in the area of just general spiritualism and whatnot. So this has nothing to do with Wiccan. This has nothing to do with witchcraft. And this is what I was watching beforehand. And these are my favorites in the line of spiritualism. And just because you're into spiritualism does not mean that you're going to become a witch. It does not mean that you're going to go into witchcraft. It does not mean that you're going to fall down some dark hole or something. That It doesn't mean that at all. And so so don't, don't think that because I started, you know, researching spiritualism that that's what caused me to get into witchcraft. That, that has nothing to do with it at all. And, and I'm not practicing any of these things. I'm just learning about them. I'm just finding out about them. So... Anyway, but the ones in the line of spiritualism that I like, which are not Wiccan, which are not uh, witchcraft, which are not all this, you know, which are not part of the religion or the witchcraft or anything else like that. This is just general stuff. There's Sky Life, and she's, she's kind of like me. She's researching anything and everything, and just everything that interests her and everything that she really likes. I've only been able to see one or two of her videos, and I have liked them so far. Uh, then there's Pam Gregory and she is an astrologist. I think it is an astrologer or an astronomer. I can't remember what, what's the difference. Who cares? Uh, I love Pam Gregory. She's really good. Uh, I think she's the English lady that I love listening to. There's Braca Goldsmith. And she's also an astrologer. I love her. Uh, but she also channels aliens and it's rather interesting to watch. Um, big entertainment value in my mind. I love watching that. I kind of get a kick out of it. Um, and then there's uh, a girl who I absolutely love. I absolutely fell in love with her. She's called Bahati Life. Now, Bahati Life, she is a spiritualist and she reads tarot cards. And she does, she's also an astrologer, an astronomer, whatever it is. Uh, just like Pam Gregory and just like Braca Goldsmith, but Bahati Life, she is very down to earth and she tells you what your life is going to be like within the next week, within the next month, within the next year. I love her. I absolutely love her. Check out Bahati Life. She's She is a lot like uh, Mystic at the Crossroads, except she's a skinnier person. <laughs> but she isn't... Uh, she hasn't come out and said that she's a witch or a Wiccan. So I'm taking her as what she has presented herself as, which is a spiritualist who, and, and she said that she is someone who does uh, astrology. I need to get this straight. It's either astrology or astronomy. And I can't decide. I know that one is the science and one is the spiritualism. And in my, in my opinion, they're both equal. You know, they, they both have merit. So yeah. But don't beat me up for getting it wrong. But anyway, Bahati Life is an astronomer, just like Pam Gregory and Braca Goldsmith. So that's what she says she is. So, you know, that's what I'm taking it as. But I absolutely, I watched Bahati Life and uh, The Witch of Wonderlust. And now My Pagan Life kind of re kind of religiously. Whenever they have a new video out, I watch it. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then what... What got me started on, on watching all these, you know, you can call it trippy dippy out there, hippie, whatever videos in the first place was watching Abraham Hicks. I really liked Abraham Hicks 
It really helped me a lot. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love Abraham Hicks. Um, and there's really not, she's, she's, she's entirely a spiritualist. I also have another video that I want to do over Abraham Hicks that's, that's kind of knit together with, uh, witchcraft, I guess you could call it. I don't know, Wiccan, what have you, but it definitely, I love Abraham Hicks. Check her out. She might be a bit much for a lot of people. She is pure spirit, pure spiritualism. You can call her a little loopy. You can call her a little, she's definitely out there. Uh, but I would definitely just even what helps me the best with her is having her videos running in the background while I'm doing stuff and just not listening and my, my emotions pick up. I feel better. So she's definitely one to listen to if you're willing. If you're not willing to listen to, just have her playing in the background and it will help. I, I promise you it'll help your emotions. Because even if you can't stand her uh, consciously or intellectually, you know, um, if you're just, I don't know what to call it. If you're too much of a pessimist, if you're too much of a realist, if you're, if you're just a little too down to earth, if you're, if your feet are kind of stapled, like with a staple gun down to the earth, um, you might not be able to understand what she has to say. And if you do understand it, you're probably going to laugh it off, which, which means that you're not going to like the book, The Secret. I would strongly suggest anyone to go out there and read the book, The Secret. It really is good. But something like the book, The Secret, um, it, it's, it's not everybody's cup of tea. I'll tell you that right now. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Uh, but I have found some really good a lot of a lot of good merit a lot of good can come out of these uh reading the secret listening to abraham hicks applying actually doing what she says to do to the best of your ability uh trying to apply what the secret says to do to the best of your ability again um and yeah so I want to say within reason, but some people, it's like they need to jump off a cliff. I don't know. I don't want to say that either. Don't jump off a cliff. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. But, you know. Um, I don't know how to explain Abraham Hicks. The only way that I can say anything about it is just to go watch it. And you'll you'll know why I'm, why I'm bereft of speech, why I'm bereft of words. I'm just like, oh, how do I tell this one? You know, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it, uh, especially for this video. The only other thing I can think of is there's also something called How to Cast. Uh, and they actually interviewed a lady who is, I think she's a Wiccan, she's definitely uh, a witch. And I love her. I love the vibes that I get from her, and she really... She's a, she's an old one from the 80s, and she really has a lot of information. I really love how she just puts it straight forward and how she just tells you how it is. And she is just a wealth of information, but they break it up into little videos and they cut her off, which really bothers me. So definitely look up How To Cast. Now this one with the How To Cast, I will give a link or two for those videos, but... The unfortunate thing is that when I looked up the channel, it is, it's not a channel for witchcraft. It's not a channel for magic. It's not a channel for Wiccan. It's not a channel for any type of religious item even. What it is, is it's a channel for basically just how to do anything and everything. You know, it, it doesn't, it teaches you how to do everything. So you really have to like type in specifically what you want to learn. And then thankfully it will bring up, you know, like how to cast Wicca, how to cast. And you'll, you'll see what I mean uh, with the link. But yeah, if, if you literally type in how to cast and you type in how to tie your shoe, it'll, it'll probably show you, give you a whole video on how to tie your shoe. So it's, 
it's not entirely, <laughs> it's not, you know, how do I put it? It's not all religious. So I, I don't know how else to put it. I really don't know how to sum it up. But uh, it looks like this video is now 20 minutes long. And I can't believe it's actually that long. So I'm, uh, I'm going to sign off here. So, so I hope that this helped everyone. I hope that this gave everyone who watched this a whole lot more people to watch and to subscribe to. Uh, I hope that you become fans of, you know, if not all these people, a lot of these people. I certainly hope that they help you out in your life as they have helped me. I hope they help your soul out in your life as they have helped me. And if you like the and and if you like this and want to see more, then please subscribe, uh, click the thumbs up and like it, uh, click the bell notification button, and thanks for stopping by the flip side. And remember what Mr. Rogers said: uh, it's you I like. It's every part of you. It's your soul. It's your core. It's your heart. It's your being. It's you, and that comes from me too. And. Let me see. Nanu, nanu, live long and prosper. And remember, happiness and laughter save lives. And I hope you have a great geeky week. And my geekiness goes to you all. From me, Glasses Geek. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. I love you all. Bye.